salute to the family salute to the squad man i really thought about making this uh to make this video or not man i go i went ahead and decided you know what bro i'm gonna go ahead and make this video and um a couple of days ago smush parker was on vlogs t uh vlogs tv vlogs channel man dj vlog those of you that don't know he has a huge platform on youtube has a bunch of rappers that go on celebrities man a lot of uh controversial topics and i get it vlog you know i get how you make your money bro and i'm not over here hating on you bro you know you got to get it how you could get it and um that's what works for you bro but um i gotta really disagree with this one man because at the end of the day you know you had smush parker on your channel and everybody and their mom knows the only reason you really called smush parker to your channel because Smush Parker doesn't have much relevancy today, you know, when it comes to a lot of people, man. I mean, um, hell, bro, a lot of people don't even remember Smush Parker even exists anymore until he goes on these platforms and smuts up a man's name, tries to smut up a man's name because he can't. Long live the legend Kobe Bryant, long live the Mamba. You know, um, you call this man onto your channel just to talk recklessly about kobe bean bryant man a man that is no longer with us man a man that is a legend an icon a goat in the sport of basketball and even though um and not even though i'm saying even outside of the court bro he is a legend on the streets of la and you call this man onto your platform to talk recklessly about kobe and you guys are just sitting there laughing and joking about it you know like this man is alive to even defend himself. I mean, bro, like that, that that's just not a good look, bro. You got to do better than that, man. And, and Smush Parker, you should already just stop it, bro. It's corny and cheesy at this point, man. I mean, granted, you did say it when the man was alive. I can't take that away from you. But at this point, let this man rest. And Vlad, you have a huge platform with a lot of people that are willing to come onto your platform. You just called this man onto your platform to try to smut up a man's name that's not even here to defend himself, bro. Bro, it's corny as hell. And not to mention, you know, Smush, you say all this stuff about Kobe Bryant. You've been on a couple of teams, bro. You bounced around, you know, a couple of teams. And the best years you had statistically is when you played for the Los Angeles Lakers. Everybody could go look this up, bro. Points, rebounds, assists, all that. I think only one season you had a little bit more assists when you played for the Clippers. But I mean, the best seasons overall that you had in your NBA career was with the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, the man that you hate playing with. You know, you say this man never talked with you. You said this man treated you so bad, which is also a lie because in the games, you know, I, I, I've, I've seen this man, bro. I've seen games where this man is talking to you. I've seen games where this man's giving you props. I've seen games where this man is laughing with you, you know, dapping you up hugging you and all that, bro, there's pictures out there on the internet, you know, whatever issue that you had with this man, I mean, this dude, we all know Kobe Bryant, man, he was different, bro, he meant all business when he went in there, I don't know if you thought that he was gonna play patty cake, patty cake with you, or I didn't know if you guys were gonna, gonna go, you know, be buddy what he have like some tea and stuff, I don't know your personality, bro, or what you were expecting from this man, but at the end of the day, bro, this man meant all business, and with you saying that, you know, um, it was an overrated experience and all the other stuff that I'm going I'm to just choose not to say when I'm making this video is already corny and cheesy. Nobody cares. You're making yourself look like a fool. DJ Vlad, bro, that, that was just, I don't know, bro. Like, you know, you only called this man onto your channel to talk about Kobe because there's nothing else there, bro. At this point in time, there's really nothing else there. And I just don't think it was a good look, man. I don't think it was a good look for Smush Parker. And I don't think especially it was a good look for Vlad, bro. And Smush Parker, bro. You need a you need to move on, bro. I mean, it looks like your whole life is just based around Kobe Bryant, bro. And this man is not even alive no more, bro. And all you do is talk about Kobe Bryant. I know you're taking these opportunities to get extra money. I'm I'm pretty sure that these guys are paying you to go onto a platform and talk bad about a man that is no longer with us. But have a little bit more honor, bro. Have a little bit more pride. Have a little bit more dignity, bro. Have a little bit more respect, man. At this point, this is getting corny, man. And Smush Parker, you're making yourself look like a fool, bro. I'm going to go ahead and say it, bro. You're making yourself look like a fool, bro. Like I said, you know, everything you're saying, bro, I'm not saying that it's not true to a certain extent. Maybe with your experience, because there's a lot of people that love Kobe Bryant as a teammate. Maybe with your experience, 
But I do feel like it's a little bit exaggerated. I do feel like it's a little bit exaggerated. And I don't know, like I said, if you expected this man to play patty cake, patty cake with you. Or, you know, to play hopscotch with you or, or whatever it is, you know. To have like little slumber parties or whatever it is you were expecting from him, bro. Because this man meant all business. Everybody that's seen Kobe Bryant play and everybody that's known Kobe Bryant on a personal level. I mean, you didn't even have to know this man on a personal level to know that this man just watching, you know, actions speak louder than words. That he meant all business, bro. Every time he put on that uniform and represented this city of Los Angeles. It's corny at this point. You need to stop it, bro. You need to stop it. And for sure you're exaggerating. And for sure you're stretching this a little bit. Stop this corny business, man. And Vlad, you could do better than that, bro. There's a lot of people that would want to... That would be dying to come onto your platform, bro. You call a man up to your platform knowing that he has nothing to offer you at all. He has nothing to offer you at all but to smut up another man's name. And you guys are sitting there and laughing about it, you know, and joking about it like this man is still alive, man. Let this man rest in peace, bro. Long live the Mamba, bro. Um, forever number eight, forever number 24. God rest Gigi soul. And everybody that lost their lives in that in that helicopter crash, the media and you guys all need to, all, all need to let this go, bro. And I'm going to speak on it, man. This is corny as hell, bro. And you guys are looking like clowns doing this honestly, in my opinion. Stop it. Like I said, I'm going to say it one more time, bro. You only called this guy onto your platform to try, to try, because he can't, to try to smut up a man's name that is no longer with us. Stop it. 